Today I'm going to take a quick look at Android version 4.3 Jelly Bean and uh, Paranoid Android version 3.90 which is based off this Android version of Jelly Bean. So as you can see here I've just done a fresh install and um, I'm going to take you through a couple of features of uh, Android Jelly Bean first and then we'll dive straight into the ROM. So uh, we'll get started with the speed. As you can see it's pretty fast and everything you love about Jelly Bean is more or less already there. This update to this to uh, to this Android version 4.3 is mostly under the hood, um, and on some other features. So with Android 4.3, you now get Google Play Games, which is an integrated game service installed on your device. Uh, from here, you can track various functions of your games that you have that are Google Play Games integrated. As you can see, I have a couple of games here, and uh, in Riptide 2, I can uh, view my uh, leaderboards, my achievements, and uh, general information about the app I have installed. Uh, you also get recommended games uh, for uh, that are Google Play integrated. Uh, so as you can see here, the speed of uh, of this ROM is uh, very fast, and indeed Android version 4.3 is very fast indeed, which I'll talk about in uh, more detail later. So a big feature of Android 4.3 is uh, support for Bluetooth 4.0 or Bluetooth Low Energy uh, Connectivity. As well as a new feature for Wi-Fi um, called um, keeping Wi-Fi on during sleep. This is supposedly supposed to increase your battery life and uh, improve connection uh, for locations. So next we have uh, user accounts. Now, as you can see here, we can add a new thing called restricted profiles. Restricted profiles basically allow you to pass your tablet or your, uh, to another member of the family. And, uh, you can enable certain apps that they can access where others they can't that are installed on the device. You could also purchase some in-app content which is available to them, but they wouldn't be allowed to uh, pay for any more in-app content and indeed wouldn't see it at all. So as you can see, obviously this feature is inherent on um, on phones. You can only use um, the user accounts on um, on tablets. Also uh, with Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, there's a Google Keep which is installed by default. Um, this is basically a note-taking app, memo app if you like. Uh, you can sync it across your desktop as well as your tablets and your Android devices. Um, but like I said, it's installed as default now on Android 4.3. So when you take a look here at the speed of um, of Android 4.3 and this ROM, uh, Paranoid Android and indeed the game center here, I'm going to talk about a major support in Android 4.3 called Trim. Uh, Trim doesn't stand for anything, it's not a variation. It's, uh, basically, um, it's a command basically. And uh, this improves how uh, your video, how your content is deleted, and how it is written over, um, and generally improves the speed of your device. Um, installing Android 4.3 on my old last year's version of the Nexus 7 uh, has drastically improved the speed because uh, that device was beginning to get bogged down. I'll post a link in the description to um, a video I found interesting by MKBHD. Uh, describing uh, well, top features of Android 4.3 and indeed uh, more detail than me about uh, about Trim. Uh, so let's just a quick overview of Trim and how it increases speed. Now as you can see here, um, features of Paranoid Android, um, Hello, Halo sorry, works uh, fully. Um, but I'm going to give you some uh, some indication here as uh, to the things that are uh, in this ROM. Everything works, as you can see, all features of the lock screen are present, and so are the toolbars, and you can change um, certain items uh, in the ROM. So basically most features of Paranoid Android work, except for uh, its major function, really, <laughs> its hybrid properties. Um, its hybrid properties at the moment aren't integrated properly. Uh, basically the interface that you're seeing here, um, it tells me I have changed my DPI settings. Uh, when indeed, as you can see, I haven't. It's still in 320 uh, DPI, so it's still in the stock, uh, the stock view. Now, unfortunately, basically, this just isn't. Into, it's not responding. You know, it's not communicating with the uh, hybrid mode settings. Um, but there is a way which I'm about to show you how you can uh, supposedly, and you can indeed, I suppose, to a certain extent, uh, change this. As you can see, what does work is Pi still works. Um, but again, it's in the 320 DPI settings, so it's not 100% useful, in my opinion. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is want to go into System, and you want to go into Etc. And um, basically in your Root Explorer, and uh, then Paranoid, and then Properties.conf. Now you're going to want to edit this uh, file. And as you can see here, we have numerous settings, um, but the ones you want to con concentrate on at the top. 
for the DPI. Now, uh, changing this will supposed to be allow you to change the interface layout, uh, basically what the hybrid uh, mode here does. So you want to go and get these numbers, and you're going to want to insert them into there. And as you can see, what I've done there is I've saved the file, but unfortunately I've rebooted <laughs> without allowing um, super user root access, which was a bummer. But I did get a change in the end, and as you can see here, I changed it to uh, phablet mode. Um, so as you can see, um, yeah, phablet mode. <laughs> um, I don't like it, as you can see, apps are in um, tablet mode, and I couldn't get them out, so that's a shame. But, uh, but yeah, that's been my quick look at Paranoid Android and Android version 4.3. Thanks for watching.